Welcome back to Daily Dose. Today is the final day of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's trip to Israel. Even though the two nations have had diplomatic ties for 25 years, Modi's still the first Indian Prime Minister to actually visit the Jewish state. By all accounts, he's getting along famously with the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Two men have been all smiles and bro hugs the last couple days, but they've also talked about increased business investments, especially in the fields of agriculture, water and waste management, space technology, and defense. Now, one, is, one of Modi's last stops on his trip today in Israel will be meeting with Israeli and Indian business leaders. And that's where we're going to join now our Eli Hochenberg at Tel Aviv's Dan Hotel. Eli, why is it important for Modi to make a stop at this event, at this innovation event and technology event, to meet with these business leaders? Well, cutting-edge technology is one of uh, the most uh, uh, important common grounds between India and Israel, and this is why it is taking such a, uh, a meaningful uh, part of this uh, visit, not only today, but in the previous days as well. But this love fest will uh, soon be over in all, only a matter of uh, several uh, hours. So far, love is still in the air. Let me just uh, give you a brief update, uh, update that uh, Netanyahu, after uh, uh, touring uh, with Modi up in the north, uh, had a phone conversation with Vladimir Putin uh, Russia is, of course, uh, President Vladimir Putin on the situation in Syria. And the two, Modi and Netanyahu, are set to uh, meet once again uh, right here at the Dan Hotel in Tel Aviv for this uh, very uh, impressive uh, technology or uh, innovation uh, conference here. Both Israeli and Indian companies will present their cutting-edge technologies. And again, as uh, stated before, really uh, one of the fundamental uh, grounds of this uh, rising uh, cooperation uh, between India and Israel. And Ellie's there. I can see all the people, the buzz behind you. Thank you so much for that report. We'll be talking with you later here on I-24 News. Meanwhile, there are about 10,000 Indian expats working and living in Israel temporarily. And there are 85,000 Israeli Jews of Indian origin. Last night, Prime Minister Modi held a massive rally for thousands of those Indian Jews here in Tel Aviv. Here are some of it. I feel very strongly because I'm one of those people who's like a bridge between India and Israel in that I have an NRI, which means an Indian-born citizen, and I have Aliyah as well from Israel. So uh, where, I, where I'm concerned, I think that we have a very dynamic, uh, far-reaching prime minister. We're very proud of him. He is, uh, he's a rock star. And uh, in fact, uh, India is on the upsurge now. We're hearing that phrase a lot while Modi is here in Israel, that he is a rock star. Uh, for more on this trip and what's been said, we're joined from New Delhi by a special guest, Abhijit Mitra. He is a fellow with the Institute of Peace and Conflict, Peace of Conflict Studies. All right, thank you for being with us. You know, one thing that we did not see in these speeches or in the statements uh, is the phrase two-state solution. Of course, we know that Modi is not going to the West Bank. He's leaving the Palestinian issue apparently separate entirely while he's here. Why do you think that is, and is that a controversial decision back in New Delhi? Um, well, the thing is, I think uh, the prime minister's managed this relationship very well. Uh, if you noticed, uh, he uh, avoided uh, Palestine very specifically because he had uh, laid the ground for uh, dehyphenation of Israel and Palestine. He's been to the UAE, he's visited several Arab states before this, and there was a very clear yeah. attempt at uh, softening the ground before he came. So, in a sense, there has been uh, a very clear policy direction that the relationship has to come out from the shadows into the lights now. Tell me what you, th how is Prime Minister Netanyahu, how is he viewed in New Delhi? How is he being covered in Indian media? Is he a popular figure? Uh, he's actually pretty much something of a rock star in India, in a sense, uh, mostly because uh, what we see of Israel, uh, it, 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 the Indian public perception of Israel isn't through the domestic politics of Israel. It's just that Israel is a friend. And basically every prime minister of Israel, uh, Ariel Sharon, similarly like that, uh, had a pretty big Twitter following in India, uh, very visible in the Indian media. Uh, extremely popular. And if anything, this visit has only seen to uh, seen that Netanyahu's popularity go through the roof. Because what everybody sees here is Indians are very used to being 
treated badly in a sense. There's always this victim narrative in the public sphere about how uh, most developed countries treat India, Indians not very well. And here you have this prime minister who is so warm, so effusive, so spontaneous, uh, genuine warmth being shown to the Indian prime minister. Yes, That's sir. something very, very unusual. Very unusual. A lot of uh, apparent warmth between these two leaders. Thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate your time here on Daily Dose from New Delhi. Thank you, Abhijit. And meanwhile, an Israeli child who survived a horrific terror attack at a Jewish center in Mumbai nine years ago, actually had a chance to meet with Prime Minister Modi yesterday. Moshe Holzenberg is now 11 years old. His parents were both gunned down and killed in that massacre while Moshe was just a child, a toddler. But his Indian nanny protected the boy, saved his life, and now is living in Israel as well, was granted Israeli citizenship. And she talked with our correspondent, Jordana Miller, and reflected on that horrible day. To meet the Prime Ministers, it was very, very exciting, even for Moshe Boy, because, like, uh, because he knows who are the Prime Ministers. I was just waiting. I, actually, even I didn't know for what I was waiting. But this much I knew, that he was asleep in the fifth floor, and any moment, this baby is going to cry. And I have to be there. So I was there. And good for, thank God that I was there. Because even, I think God also kept me there, you know to save him. So yes, I remember that very well. How many hours? 11 hours I was there in the storeroom from 10 o'clock, you can say, to 11 uh, the next day. I-24 News also chatted with the Secretary General of India's ruling political party, his name is Ram Madhav, about his thoughts on Modi's historic trip to Israel. Uh, this visit of Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, to Israel is a very significant visit. Government of India and people of India attach a great significance to this visit. In the last 25 years, we have had fruitful and useful collaboration between our two countries. Most important of them are agriculture and water resources related technologies that many states in India have today imported from Israel. Indian Jewish diaspora is quite big in Israel. So Prime Minister Modi is likely to interact with the Indian Jewish diaspora. We believe that the diaspora is again a strong bond between the two countries. So people to people relationship, that will also be a focus area for Prime Minister's visit. Modi making headlines during his three-day trip here to Israel. One of these last events before he leaves, of course, we had that live shot from Eli Hochenberg in Tel Aviv. He'll meet with dozens of business leaders trying to strengthen the ties between India and Israel when it comes to the fields of innovation and technology.